This is the Cloycast, Episode 11, The Future of Zort Central and Beyond. Hello gamers, I am Mike the Zorch, and give me a short video, basically letting you know exactly what I'm doing moving forward because of the changes coming to the YouTube Partner Program. Now, as you know, they've changed the rules on what your channel needs in order to be a part of the program and to monetize with ads. So Zort Central and Gamers Bay both will be taken off of the partner program on February 20th and 90% of that will basically purge 90% of the channels on YouTube. And I, I know why they're doing it. I understand why they're doing it. There's a lot out there that is just crap channels. And, but the way they're going about it is just basically throwing the baby out with the bathwater. So I understand why they're doing it, but the way in which they're doing it is it hurting a lot of legitimate YouTubers like myself and Daniel, who runs Gamers Bay. It's hurting us to get rid of the, uh, the, bad, the bad actors. It's hurting a lot of us. So what are we going to do moving forward? Well, Daniel, he's, he's going to be posting a video detailing what he plans to do for Gamers Bay. And this is sort of uh, the first phase of what I plan to do. Um, I will be doing a Patreon sometime in the, in the future. Uh, not right now, but maybe a few months from now uh, going forward. At the moment, my video output will slow down. Not that I have a lot to begin with, but um, I'll be slowing that down and I'll be working on posting articles to Steam it. I'll have one this month and as I get you know, more acclimated to how to use that platform better, I'll be posting a lot more there and I'll be using their video service DTube to post some stuff, maybe some uh, game news commentary uh, something like what Rich with Review Tech USA does, where he, he talks about the gaming news. Because unlike YouTube, on DTube, they're not going to demonetize your videos because of wrong think. Because you're not following a certain political slant, so to speak. They're punishing people who, you know, aren't following a certain ideology on YouTube. And that's wrong. So you can post stuff there. And also I think in that particular environment, what I have to say will probably resonate a lot better with people. So look, you know, look forward to that. I'll have links to my DTube account in future videos on DTube, on, on future videos, as well as on Steemit. Right now, I'm working on a top 10 list of Atari arcade games. And uh, this one's taking a little while because I'm, I'm getting more acclimated to working in HTML again. Because you could post articles in HTML and, which, and I can embed videos from YouTube into the articles. And what I'll be doing is I'll be crawling back through all the videos I did over in Gamers Bay of all the um, Atari arcade games that I did for an old gamer plays and doing a top 10 list of what I think are the best arcade games from from Atari. So look forward to that sometime this month. As I said, because of all this, I'll be slowing down the video production on Zort Central. I'll still have all my shows, the new shows that I'm doing. Uh, I will be doing the... I, I missed a lot of shows in January, particularly an old otaku. I'll be releasing one this month. I'll be doing it on Yurusi Yatsura. And also I will have um, another What's on Steam episode soon. And once the once the uh, patch is out for Elite Dangerous, I'll be going back to live streaming on YouTube and Twitch of that game. Because 
there's some big updates coming to Elite Dangerous, and so I'll be streaming that. Beyond Steam It and the DTube, and I probably won't be using their live streaming service, DLive. But beyond that, I'm looking at the possibility of a merchandise store, the Zort Central themed merchandise store, maybe some um, clothing the Professor artwork. I'm not an artist, so I might have to get either something commissioned or use the existing art that I have, but I might get something commissioned and put it up. Uh, I've got some t-shirt ideas, um, some basically some meme t gaming meme t-shirts that I might put together to uh, put on the store. That will be um, you won't see that immediately. This, so this is this is a long-term goal thing I'm going to be doing. And also at some point I will also be doing a Patreon to help bring in more revenue for the channel because I I need equipment upgrades. I need you know better audio gear. I mean this this mic's pretty good, but it's big and bulky. And I need better audio equipment. And I need... Um, I'd like to have a dedicated machine for streaming and recording, video recording. So right now I'm using my um, Linux laptop to do all of that. I would like it. Um, I'd like a dedicated machine that I can just use for capturing video or streaming video it doesn't have to be a big machine uh, i could probably just use a intel nook to do that it doesn't have to be a powerful machine and i also need a, a new gaming rig and video cards are extremely expensive i've got an amd apu system i built it because at the at that time it was a good machine and it's still a good machine now it's just it's slowly starting to show its age with newer games and in order to move forward and to be able to play the the better games that are coming i need better hardware so i'll need a new gaming rig um, we also be we'll, we'll be getting another new system here that will be for live streaming and video editing so we're going to be building another machine that will be used for the green screen that you've seen me use on uh, Random Thoughts. Right now we're just recording with the camera and then doing editing. From there we can't do any live streaming with the green screen at all. So another new machine that we're going to be building and that's, that's TigerCon and one of my other roommates that are building that machine. Because he, all of us will pretty much be using it. But I need a personal machine for streaming and recording. I need a better gaming rig for video editing and running better games. My current Linux machine that I have right now that is my daily machine, that, that's still a good machine. So I don't need to replace that. But I do need, I do need better hardware to be able to produce better videos for all of you to improve what I'm able to produce for this channel and also for Gamers Bay. So that's what I'm going to be doing moving forward. I'm going to be doing first, I'm going to be working on Steam It, DTube, and then I'm going to be uh, possibly opening a merch store at some point and then Patreon to try and bring in more revenue for the channel. Since YouTube apparently doesn't, um, doesn't care about the small channels that are just trying to be up and coming. Now I know that eventually we can get up, we can eventually get our um, content up to have, the, to have the watch times that we need and have the subscription numbers that we need in order to be a part of the program. But as I said, they changed these rules 
at least twice now in five months. In five months, they changed the rules twice. They're changing the rules twice. Who's to say they won't change it again? And their roadmap going forward, they want to become the next major entertainment network. They want to become the next Netflix, the next TV network. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Did you see how many ads for YouTube TV they had? YouTube TV is their live TV streaming service where you can you know, watch live cable TV. And Google has been trying hard to uh, get people to sign up for YouTube Red. They, they, they're chomping at the bit to become the next Netflix, to become the next, uh, the next Hulu, the next Amazon Prime Video. That's what they want. And they can't do that with all the small channels hanging on them. So that's what they're that's what they're doing and there's been some other changes that will be coming from them that aren't very good so I don't pin my hopes on YouTube being a viable platform which is why we're diversifying onto other platforms like DTube and steam it so I've been Mike thanks for watching this is um this is where the thing where this is the direction things are going i know my output for the channel is going to be going down a little bit but as i get better at posting stuff on steam it i have to do it in html as i get better at that then you'll see the content going up a little more as my equipment gets better, you'll be seeing the quality go up. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.